Music plays an integral part of shaping the world we live in. It fashions societies and defines generations. But where is the support for the artists who create this legacy, these influences of society? It seems there isn't any. It all comes down to the concept of value. Can you think for a moment how much do you value music? This amazing creation that defines key moments in our lives. To the music industry, the value of an artist lies in their profitability. To the creative artist, the value of their music is often personal, emotional, or spiritual. In the words of an artist I met this year, it's a plastic industry. It's all based around a simple but infallible premise, where there is music, there is money. Let's go back in time. As a child, I had a stutter. So much so that when it came to answering the school register in the morning, I struggled to say yes. To the point my teacher said, look, Brendan, just put your hand up, OK? As a teenager, I learned that when I sang, the stutter and the fear disappeared. So I learned a few chords on the guitar and started to write songs to express myself. For me, expressing myself through music was and still is deep-seated in who I am. It was never just a manufactured or throwaway thing. It's my soul on display. So I put all my time and energy into songwriting, music, and bands. That's what defined me. One night during a gig, I noticed an acquaintance of mine. He'd set up a tripod and was filming the set my band and I were performing. I never got to see the recording of that gig. And I didn't think anything of it at the time. Until one bonfire night during a firework display, a song burst out through the large speakers. And I felt, that's my sound, a part of my soul. But it wasn't me singing, it was the well-known singer my acquaintance played with. I felt like someone punched me in the face. I had no idea what to do or what to say. I was completely naive. And this ate away at me for over the next 10 years. Eventually, music burnt me out. I fell into bitterness and negativity about something that was originally therapy for me. In the end, I gave up music. But over time, I learned more and started to research. And I felt that my songs had been taken and used as reference points to make more than one well-known hit song. So I took it to a top musicologist. That's someone who analyzes music. And his analysis supported my suspicions. And what this did, it gave me the confidence to turn poison into medicine. Now I'm not special. There are many musicians who have similar stories to tell. In hindsight, I just feel stupid because I never really understood the value of music. Creating art, music, anything that is real and true is putting a part of your soul on display. And I believe that this is where the value lies. It's worth more than money, but that doesn't mean to say it isn't worth money. So how did I get back to being positive about music? I followed my instinct. I went to Zambia. It was here I reconnected with the simple joy of playing music. I ran music workshops. I donated my guitar to the school. And I launched a project to build a music center. Back home, over the next two years, I um, raised the money by hosting live music events. And I met many grassroots artists, amazing people who wanted more control, opportunity to be valued for their work. A common theme musicians hear is, we can't pay you, but you'll get exposure. 
With the explosion of the internet, there came a huge opportunity for artists to develop their careers independently of the traditional music industry. Unfortunately, artists have been coerced instead into giving out their music for free. In this way, music as a whole can become devalued. And we risk creating a generation of jaded, disillusioned artists. Yes, the noble artist creates and conceives wonderful things without a thought for fame or fortune. But then, what do we do with it? We take it and we say, thanks, you didn't do this for the money anyway, right? Again, creating art, music, that's the value. And this is where the value lies. It's worth more than money. And that doesn't mean to say it isn't worth money. Music makes you remember and go back to that club which got the tunes just right. It makes you buy a pre it makes you pay a premium for a ticket or a seat, a, you know, a front row seat at a show like this. A great song is gold dust. The riffs, the melodies, the words. And the bursts of inspiration have the unique power to capture our seminal moments of joy and tragedy, family and friendship, adventure, comfort, loss and healing. That unique mathematical sequence of the same 12 musical notes. Once I gave up music because I became afraid, afraid of putting myself out there, afraid of being ripped off. But a few years ago, I started a new journey, and I thought, here's an idea. Let's create a world where artists do not have to sacrifice artistic integrity for commercial success. The fundamental principles to never lose the will to express your real voice, never succumb to fear or failure, an understanding that music is not just a commodity, to be shaped, bought, and sold, but essential therapy for the soul or spirit. To share an ethical vision for the creation and consumption of fair trade music. It is by changing the core principles of the music industry, rather than enforcing rules, that we can turn things around. Removing the poison, becoming nothing, and rebuilding from a place which is about pure music and supporting those who create it. Do you value music? With that in mind, I'd like to leave you with one of my own songs. So take these words to your heart. They can spark the things we start. This is my prop. It's called a decapo. It makes me sound good. Without it, I, I wouldn't. So this song, two two, hello. Uh, this song is called Eyes of Change. Come the tides of change They're coming round again for all the time it takes is it left too late Here come the tides of change upon the meadows on the edge of elbows we can take the reins 
in the light of the eyes of change some things still remain that lies in me Rise again I plead It resides the same in you Rise above with me In the light of the eyes of change I've lived loved out of my pocket So much has gone but we know stop it. I've lived, lived out of my pocket. I've wandered the earth with my feet firmly on it. In the light of the eyes of change. In the light of the eyes of change. Some things still remain. There's only so much we can do Flexible and fearless, limitless and lyrical Am I waiting for a miracle? Some things still remain. 